Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today uh, I'm going to make some caramel brownies. And I know I'm not saying caramel right, but that's how I say it. I had someone, I was telling them the scent of one of my candles is salted caramel. And he said, say that again. I said, salted caramel. He said, one more time. I said, salted caramel. He said, I just love hearing you say that. So, anyway, for our brownies, we have one cup of uh, white granulated sugar. We've got two eggs, a half a cup of butter, which is one stick that I've melted and let cool a little bit. We have a half a cup of self-rising flour and one third cup of cocoa. And I also have my caramel sauce and some vanilla extract and a little bit of salt. And I will be adding some chocolate chips and almonds to my uh, pan, to my mix, I mean. And then I have a nine by nine pan, which I've lined with full, and I'm gonna spray it real good with some uh, nonstick cooking spray so they don't stick. So let me get that done and we'll start making the brownies. In my mixing bowl, I'm going to add the one cup of sugar and my half a cup of melted butter that's cooled a little bit. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Just kind of eyeball that. And we want to add just a pinch of salt. Just a pinch. About a fourth teaspoon. We're going to mix this up real good. Now I'm going to add my two eggs. And blend those in real good. Now I'm going to sift in my flour and my cocoa powder. And I'm using self-rising flour. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And now you want to mix this in. Seems like it takes it a while to mix in, but it eventually does. I'm going to switch to my whisk. We don't want to over mix it. Scrape the bottom and the sides. Now I'm going to add a little bit of uh, some semi-sweet chocolate morsels. You can leave this part out. Just a little bit. Now if I had some pecans, I would be adding this to it. Uh, my kids don't like it and I want them to eat some too so I'll just leave that out. But what I do have is just a little bit of sliced almonds. I doubt they'll even see that in there. And I'm going to put those in there. I mean, it's just a little bit left in that bag. And you can leave that out. Just going to stir that in. You can add any type, you know, if you want walnuts, pecans. I had druther pecans, they're my favorite. So now I'm going to pour half of my batter into my pan, spread it out, open my caramel, just drizzle it on there. I'm not going to use this whole jar, I'm going to drizzle it all over as much as you like. I've only used about that much of it. Now I'm going to pour the rest of my brownie batter or spoon it on top of that and then we're going to swirl it. Now I'm just going to take a little knife 
and just kind of swirl it swirl the caramel all over so anyway I'm going to put these in my preheated 350 degree oven and bake them for around 20 to 25 minutes or until when you stick a uh, toothpick in the middle it comes out clean but remember these have chocolate chips in them uh, so if you stick a toothpick in it make sure that when you pull it up that it's not got just the melted chocolate from you know in case you pierced a chocolate piece in there so you don't want it to really come out clean I still want a little bit to be clinging to it so I'm gonna put these in my 300 350 degree oven and I'll be back when they get done all right my brownies are done you can tell where I tested it but I go stick my toothpick and see it's pretty much clean but it still has a little bit uh, clinging to it and that's what you want so I've got these sitting on a rack and I'm gonna let them cool probably for around 30 minutes before or even maybe an hour before I try to uh, take them out and I can tell where the uh, caramels come out bubbled around so we're gonna let these cool and then I'll be back and we'll cut us up a slice and taste them alright it's been about 30 minutes I'm just gonna take the brownies out of the pan and set them on the rack because of the caramel right here I don't want that to stick too bad so let me take them out Oh, okay. Yep. I must have went my fingernails when I was putting the uh, foil in. I must have pierced some of the foil. I should have used some parchment paper. That would have probably been better we'll make do with what we have oh yeah look that's so gooey that's gonna be good all right I'm just gonna peel back the full around the edges and I'm not gonna cut into these yet now I'm gonna let these set a little bit longer all right let's attempt to cut these brownies remove them from the rack they're falling all apart. These are more of a fudgy type brownie. I hope you can see that good. real sticky on the bottom probably should have put the caramel on top but it don't matter let me try a bite mmm they're good I really really like them so I'm gonna finish slicing these up getting them in my plate yeah look they're real sticky on the bottom oh well you live and you learn these are going to be good anyway what I like to do with brownies is I store them in the refrigerator but then when I want one I take it out put it in the microwave for a little bit for a few seconds and then it remelts all the chocolate chips and Ooh, they're so good that way. So what I would probably do is just put the caramel on top and swirl it in. And use parchment paper. 
But anyway, this is a real fudgy type brownie. I like those type best. We'll live and learn together, won't we? And you can see the um, the almonds in there. Ooh, these are good and gooey. That's how I like them. But use parchment paper. They'll come off a whole lot better instead of using the uh, foil that you spray. Unless you're just making the regular brownies. If you're just making the regular brownies without the um, caramel in it, the foil, the spray foil works fine for that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy these real gooey, gooey brownies.